everyone. Well, a big week turned into a small week. Um, somebody slightly screwed up, and there wasn't enough to go truckload down to Laredo. So now that's going down LTL, and now they're seeing if they can find me something. And if not, I guess my fleet manager has a couple other options. But not doing Laredo. Don't know what I'm doing. So I'll let you know when I find out. Well, as I stated in my other one, my uh, Laredo fit the big one. And I couldn't find anything out of here. So, he was looking around, and now it's Jacksonville, Florida. Take the next ride onto St. Clair Avenue. But I have to go into PA to pick it up, which it's only slightly in the PA, but still. Turn left on St. Clair Avenue. Continue on St. Clair Avenue for half a mile. Not a big fan. Anyone south? I'm gonna have to figure out how close to Jacksonville I can get truck stop for the weekend because it's got a pretty wide delivery window but barring any issues I'm guessing I should be able to deliver by 8 9 in the morning it's got a 7 to 3 window plus I get a little extra cash for my wait time If I get that, it'll, if I think it'll come out to closer to three and a quarter a mile. Won't be the big week I thought it was going to be, but it'll be closer. What this is, it's about a thousand dollars less. Fifteen hundred dollars less than I was expecting. But it pays. Wait a second, it pays fifteen hundred dollars less, and it's eight hundred miles short. That Laredo average is more like 250 a mile, <laughs> and this is more like three. Welcome to Elwood City, PA. Out of there, 
cut across the 95 and then got my spot reserved. Can't believe they took out you. You can't reserve a spot in two, day, two days. A lot of the pilot app. So I gotta reserve it, check in today, reserve it tomorrow morning, and check in again. That is friggin' ridiculous. From my personal experience with the DAP issue, not all dealers are the same, man. It took me going to two different dealers, even though they're both part of the same owners. One, all I get is uh, arguments and half the time, and they don't want to go any farther. And I mean, I can't imagine a dealer telling anybody, oh, you know what, the computer says there's nothing wrong with your dev system, even though you're not using any dev. Um, go ahead and drive the truck. Dude, you haven't figured, you haven't figured out what the hell's wrong with my problem. That's why I'm trying to find something, uh, I mean, I do my PMs pretty regular, and I imagine when, uh, Hirschbot had it, they get them pretty regular because of their warranty. Uh, so if they use good oil in that, I just hit 500,000 miles about 1,000 miles ago. So probably starting now, I'll probably put some uh, Lucas oil additive in it when I do my oil changes. Yeah, I started taking my steroid pack to see if I can reduce whatever error is aggravated. So I can walk a little bit better. Man, these hills, but that's the way this thing's loaded. Yeah, it's only 22,000, but I'll tell you, that 22,000 isn't loaded right. I mean, it's not like this thing gets great fuel mileage to start with. I think the parts because it's 10 speed and the other part is uh, I swear I I wish I could find a Hirschbot driver that has been there a long time that had enough that's talked to their mechanic that has semi mechanical background because I think they did what JD did and that's uh the higher gears, they reduce the horsepower. And where I take it, and they've already proved that they're unreliable. Because I asked them to check that. They, uh, They definitely uh, haven't proved themselves that they got anybody good working there, the mechanics wise. So I gotta really seriously really contemplate moving out of Joliet closer to that other. Uh, Welcome to North Carolina. 
This storm came through uh, Virginia when I was at the rest area this morning. Then I caught up to it. And instead of going through it, I'm following it because it's got a nice arc. Looks like it goes down pretty far into Georgia. Man. So, nothing like following it. But I needed a good truck wash anyways. And welcome to South Carolina. Pretty stupid. Why would you have a mobile thing if you got a regular way station? Within five miles. Just a little tip. If you're running 77 down to 26, for right now, uh, 77 is closed. Um, before you get to the 26 exit, uh, you need to take um, an east exit 18 off of 77 and go 20 left to 26 east. I imagine that'll be like that for a little while, so. There'll be a sign, God, it must have been five or ten miles before on the left hand side, the lighter one, saying that 77 was closed at exit 5. And there's no entrance to 26. So if you see that, you know at exit 18, you gotta get off, go 20 west to 26 east. 